Hi folks, today is the day we look at getting the flat roof finished or at least watertight and uh, look at the sky. November and blue skies, it's all good. So yesterday I decked out the whole top in OSB, that's the OSB 3 tongue and groove stuff that we used on the main roof and I bought enough to do this one. So that's all where it should be. We've now installed that upstand along the stone wall, that just kind of evens things out so it's much easier to dress the lead over afterwards and to take the, the EPDM up the, uh, up the upstand. So now we've got to deal with the roof light. Right, now I've uh, cut my OSB yesterday to the right point. I can actually find that point, make a mark, and then hopefully cut our flaps before, rather than measuring out. There's no doubt that on a bigger roof this wouldn't be an option and of course if you're doing fiberglass or something like that you wouldn't need to but okay let's hope it fits I think I found all my old gear from last year and dad's just arrived so it's win-win. So we've got the bonding which is more for the upstands, that's kind of a contact adhesive and then we've got the main adhesive which is you kind of roll over the whole lot and a load of other bits and bobs. Right, everything's going to plan. We've got the main adhesive down everywhere. We've got contact adhesive around the perimeter and on the change of angle and on the upstands. Now I've got to hopefully wait for a little dry spell again, make sure all this is dry, and then we're going to prime that and use this band which splices the two together. This is the old roof, this is the new roof.
so the next thing we've got to do as far as the roof goes which really seals up the whole lot is these corners of the upstands so we need to get 50 mil beyond here and here because I want to take it right over and the roof will sit on top of it and it needs to extend to the deck as well so it's kind of like two thirds on and one third on the deck oh, it's got a bubble in it although the reef light will cover this I kind of like the idea that it's going to go all the way over so I just called up and checked that we can this sticks to itself which it does so what we'll do is install one section up to here and then another bit underneath Seven. It asks for this stuff to be scrubbed in. If you've got like this dusted, talked surface. Now we've got to wait until it's touch dry and not making a string on our fingers. Alright, so we've got a little bit too much primer showing, but that's okay. Everything is nice and smooth there. Last one was definitely the best. Now we've got to put an extra section up here, but it needs to cross over this one by 50 mil. So hopefully I can cut up the remaining bit of the tape. All of this is actually going to be covered by the roof line, but what I want to do is just take it all over the top, just for belts and braces. Right, we are watertight, all bar for flashing against the wall. So like the other side, I'm going to run a slot in here, chase it into the wall, uh, our lead, and then run it over this upstand and dress it down neatly onto there. So with the trim fitted, that pretty much wrapped up the whole of the roofing. Remember there's a full video of the install of the other roof we did last year and that goes into all the details of kind of the fitting of the trim and fitting of the roofing itself. So as promised, here's a couple of the outtakes. No. This is not one's plan. Stuff sticking to itself. Needless to say, I had enough to rip it off and start again. Anyway, here's the finished upstand ready for the roof light and here's a little sneak peek of the roof light going on which will be the next video. And one last thing to mention is our new restoration couple mugs are now available. 
limited number and they're available in the shop on the website i'll link to that down below and that's one way you can support the channel and there should be plenty of time to get them in time for christmas that's it thanks for watching remember if you can do it yourself and we'll see you next time Thank you.